Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the Rad Mini Step Through with the Rewide Co-Pilot. This episode we'll be going to the pool for the Splash Bash. It's a celebration for the last days of summer where the pools are open for almost to the last last uh, time for the season. They call it Splash Bash because they spent the association money on um, some DJs and some things, special event things over at the pool. So that's where we're going today. I think today is Saturday. So it's me and my youngest on the Rewide co-pilot riding the Rad Mini Step Through. You can see some kids, uh, we passed some kids and they're all eyeballing, eyeballing, eyeballing the, uh, the, uh, Rad Mini Step Through and the Rewrite Co-Pilot. So I think it's Saturday. I'm pretty sure it's Saturday. Lovely day in the 90s. Not as hot, I guess compared to almost being at a hundred, but still very humid, still very hot. So uh, I'm wearing my <laughs> my get up. I wear, I wear all these things because uh, it is sunny and very hot. The UV index is probably in the extreme by now. You can see that sun blaring. Even though there's some clouds overhead, still get a pretty bad sunburn and the clothes I'm wearing is breathable so as I'm riding the red mini step through I could feel the wind go through even though it's warm humid wind it still helps a lot So hopefully if you, you like this episode, you like these type of videos, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like and share. Really appreciate it. Alright, got the green light. No special graphics today. Just a good old fashioned ride. Of course you have the overlay. Tells you how fast I'm going, distance and duration, a little bit of weather information. Hopefully that's helpful to you. Even though I'm going like 23, 22 miles an hour, that's still pretty good for pulling a Wii Ride co-pilot and my youngest. I think the Rewide Co-Pilot is about 25 pounds. And I think my daughter is around 50 to 60 pounds. So what am I pulling here? Five, six, seven, eight, eighty. Eighty? Eighty, maybe ninety pounds, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. So maintaining these speeds. 22, 23 miles an hour is not too bad, and I'm not pushing hard. If you've seen my episode on the comparison of the 2018 Red Rover and Red Mini compared to the 2019 Red Mini Step Through, you see, you'll understand. I, I discussed a lot about the height of the of the saddle. The saddle is about four inches shorter than the Reed Ride, I mean the uh, the Red Mini 2018 model. And so you don't get a full leg extension, not for me anyway. I'm a little bit tall, like six foot-ish. And so I don't get a full leg extension, so I don't, I'm not pedaling hard. But the 2019 model, the Red Mini Step Through, has the uh, DNP 
gear set, the free will, DMP free will, seven gears, and the seventh gear, I think is 11 tooth. So I'm able to keep up with the cadence, and maybe you don't have to pedal as hard, but again, I'm not really trying since I have the youngest with me. This isn't a speed test. You don't want to drag your kid on the concrete, on <laughs> the pavement, on the street. Alright, jam into some good kid-friendly music. So we're towards the last day of summer. School's already started. I've been riding my bike very very frequently, almost, uh, almost on a daily basis, unless it's bad weather or raining. Even though I do have rain gear and I can ride the bike in the rain, I'd rather just not deal with it in the rain. I'd rather ride when I'm dry versus being wet. So I'll normally, we'll do something else. I don't know, edit videos, bake some bread. I've been making bread. My wife bought me the little KitchenAid mixer. So I've been making bread the last few weeks or months. Took a few times, but got it down to the point where I'm making some really good bread. Making dough, not money, but actual dough. Or I'll do something else. But there's plenty of non-rainy days. There's plenty of non-rainy days, so a lot of videos to make, me riding the bike. So as I look at the GPS data, or the, the information from my app, it's a GPS tracker on my, my phone, on my smartphone. Uh, today's ride, round trip, my top speed was 25, although when I watched through the video, I didn't hit 25 on this particular episode, so I'm assuming I hit 25 on the way back home. So no special sound, no graphics. Can't do that too much, it kind of wears people out. So I'm headed to the main pool or the bucket pool. The reason why it's called the bucket pool is because they have a huge bucket that dumps water on the, uh, on the playground that's inside the pool in the kids area. It actually has a, an Olympic size pool and then it has a kids area and then has water slides. It's the main pool basically, the bucket pool. So I only have one camera and that's on the helmet of my youngest. It was still hot. I didn't wear a helmet. I know you should wear a helmet, but I just didn't feel like carrying an extra helmet. And plus, the helmet is basically a styrofoam and styrofoam really insulates heat or cold. In this case, it would be heat and it was just too hot. Plus, I was going to be in the water, so I wanted my hat. I don't have a, I don't carry the, uh, the paneer bags. I don't have a rack on the Rad Mini step through. I don't know if I'm gonna get a rack for the Rad Mini step through. Contemplating. Don't know if I really would carry any paneer bags with the red mini step through. Uh, it's mainly used just to pull the re-ride co-pilot so I can take my youngest to school. She goes to elementary. The elementary school's not that far away. It's only like, I don't know, five minutes riding the bike, so not too bad. And I usually throttle. Most of the time I throttle. I just want to get to the school and back home as quick as possible. But after I drop 
my youngest off at school. I do pedal back, get some morning exercise, get my blood flowing. So anytime I have an opportunity to ride any of the electric bikes that I have, I have the Rad Rover, the Rad Mini, and also the Rad Mini Step Through. I'll take that chance. I'll take that opportunity. It's tremendously fun. I think once we got to the pool, they had a, a makeshift school bus that was turned into a food truck that sold ice cream. So it was an ice cream truck basically. I think they had some inflatable playhouses that squirted water or something like that. And a bouncy house maybe. So that's why it was Splash Bash on a Saturday. Kind of celebrate the uh, end of the pool season. So the pools are still open. They're open only on weekends now, except for I think I think the, there's a, there's one pool that has no lifeguards. It's at your own risk. That they're I think they're closed on Tuesdays. That's the only pool that's kind of open on a regular basis. But even then, that's going to close down soon, probably in September. They're working on that road over there. You see all the cones on the left side. They're going to be tearing up that road. Almost there. Just got to make it over the overpass, going over the railroad tracks, and headed to the pool. There's actually a pool to the right in that area right there. I'm, I'm headed towards it right now. Right in front of me, there's a pool right there. That was one of the original pools, very small, small pool. That was the original clubhouse right there on the right side. All right, here we go, up an incline. Still pulling the, the Wii Ride Copilot pretty well at 18, 17 miles an hour. I don't know the percentage grade of it. Maybe 2, 3, 3, 4, 4% 4 grade, 5% grade. That's what it says there on that little grade indicator up on the left hand side. I don't know how accurate that is. Now going down, decline. I'm just coasting it now. Let the wind breeze through me. All right, headed towards the stop sign. That guy's waiting for a car for some reason. And that's the car right there. <laughs> He's waiting for that car, a little BMW. I decided to just go ahead and take the road. Waiting at the stoplight takes a while. I was warm. I was hot. Just want to get to the pool. Left hand signal. Wait for this truck. Alright. Alright, made it to the bucket pool. Also known as, this is the main clubhouse. There's that ice cream truck that looks like a school bus. And yes, I did buy some ice cream. Three or four dollar ice cream. Jeez. 
Anyway, there's one of those inflatable water bouncy house things, and there's another bouncy house up there. You can see the slide at the pool. A little twisty slide. I think at the entrance they were giving away some inflatable balls that you could play around. They also had a, a hula performance. That was nice. Everybody's enjoying a nice Saturday day at the pool. So yeah, pool season's almost over. Anyways, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the episode here. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think or have any ideas for any future videos or or just leave a comment. Until next time, everyone. Bye.